Wildcat artists, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a teddy bear with a crazy colorful sweater. We're gonna start off with a rainbow arch in the center of our paper. I'm holding the back of my pencil so that I can get a larger range of motion. I don't want a teeny tiny piece of art on my paper. I want a large piece of art, large art on large paper. So holding my pencil like a wand is gonna give me a large range of motion. Next, this guy needs to hear, so we're gonna give him some ears. I'm gonna use the same type of shape, those arches or rainbow shapes, upside down use, whatever you wanna call them to give him some ears. I'm going to give him his little neckline, and from that neckline, I'm going to come down to the corner of my paper. Now that I have my bare head, ears, and shoulders, I'm going to place on his face. I'm gonna start off with a rounded triangle, upside down, not in the center of his face, a little bit below the center. Now I'm gonna give him a little line from the, cor the corner of his nose, the bottom corner of the triangle, down to split up his little jowls. And from that line, I'm gonna use an upside down V to give him a mouth, just like this. I have a nose and mouth, now I'm ready to place the eyes on. I'm gonna use little circles and I'm going to lightly place them slightly above his nose. The real fun begins when I get to use my imagination and add patterns and colors and textures to his sweater. So I'm gonna divide up that shoulder part with big lines. It might be easier for you to use your pencil and hold it towards the center and Glide that pencil across his shoulders, dividing up that space so that you can add patterns. Now, when you think of a teddy bear, what kind of textures do you think that he'll have? Is he smooth, like plastic and shiny? Furry, fuzzy, bristly? I'm gonna use lines to show that texture. So I'm going to start writing some lines down, going around his eyes in a circular motion. I'm going to leave a blank space around his nose and mouth and just fill in his head with some texture. Now that I'm happy with my pencil sketch and drawing, I am ready to use art materials. I'm gonna outline this guy with a Sharpie marker pen. Sharpie is ink, it is permanent. So I can paint over this and it won't spread out. Sharpie marker pens are also very expensive, so we're not going to waste them and scribble all over our paper. We're gonna trace our lines as best as we can, keeping those shapes that we created as an artist.
Notice when I fill in his nose, I'm not scribbling and I'm using the marker tip and I am just going in some straight lines, trying to fill in the space as best I can. No scribbly scrabbly lines, nice intentional artist marks. Now you're gonna use intentional lines and give your teddy bear texture with your black marker pen. Nice straight lines, lots of control. Not pressing too hard down with your pen, but just enough to give him all his little fuzz. After you fill in with all your textured lines, you're gonna erase any extra pencil lines that are shining through, and you are ready to add color. I can't wait to see which ways you decide to add color to your bear's sweater.